Hello, what's new? The leading company in the carbonated beverage industry expects to conclude the year with a sales increase ranging from 10% to 11%. Coca-Cola has successfully tested the flexibility of its customers' demand. The company has raised prices with little impact on its sales, which continue to grow in terms of volume. As a result, the company has used the third quarter results presentation to raise its full-year projections. Now, the company anticipates an organic revenue increase ranging from 10% to 11% for the year as a whole, which is two percentage points higher than their previous expectations. During the third quarter of the year, the Atlanta, Georgia-based company recorded total sales of $11.953 billion, equivalent to approximately 11. 25 billion euros at the current exchange rate, representing an 8% increase compared to the same period last year. The company managed to keep production costs under control, with just a 2% increase, resulting in a 12% increase in gross margin, reaching $7.296 billion. Operating income was influenced by other expenses and amounted to $3.27 billion, marking a 6% increase compared to the previous year. Attributable consolidated net profit increased by 9%, reaching $3.087 billion, according to reports released by the company on Tuesday. In the accumulated results for the first nine months of the fiscal year, sales experienced a 6% increase, reaching a total of $34.905 billion, while profits increased by 16%, reaching $8.741 billion. These are the reported financial figures. In organic terms, which account for currency effects and other adjustments, the revenue for the company led by James Quincy has shown an 11% growth in the third quarter. This is primarily attributed to an average price increase of 9%, significantly above the inflation rate, enabling the company to gain market share. Despite the inflationary environment that has caused consumers to adjust their budgets, Coca-Cola's beverages are not among the products affected by these constraints. The price increase has mainly occurred in the Latin American region, 15%, and the Europe, Middle East, and Africa region, 19%, although it has been more restrained in North America, 5%, and the Asia-Pacific, 1%. Analysts were anticipating an average price increase of 6, 2%, which has been significantly exceeded. In summary, we have had a strong quarter globally, and given our year-to-date results, we are revising our projections upwards for both revenue and profits for the full year," stated James Quincy, President and CEO, in a press release. Our leading portfolio of brands, supported by a unified and motivated system, allows us to maintain a strong position in the current market while laying the foundation for long-term success," he added. The volume of sales has experienced a 2% increase in both developed markets, where Japan and Mexico played key roles, and in emerging markets, with stronger growth observed in India and the Philippines, surpassing expectations. Carbonated beverages have seen a 2% increase, primarily driven by growth in the Latin American and Asia-Pacific regions. The Coca-Cola brand has seen a 2% increase, while Coca-Cola Zero has achieved a 3% increase. On the other hand, sales of flavored soft drinks have increased by 1% in terms of volume. In the category of juices, value-added dairy products, and plant-based beverages, the volume increase was also 2%, primarily driven by the growth of brands such as Minute Maid, Pulpy in China, Santa Clara in Mexico, and Fair Life in the United States. On the other hand, in the water, sports drinks, coffee, and tea sector, growth reached 1%. Coffee stood out with a 6% increase in volume, largely due to the strong performance of the Costa Coffee brand in the United Kingdom and China. Also worth mentioning is the performance of sports drinks, which experienced a 3% growth, primarily driven by Powerade in Latin America and Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. However, tea sales decreased by 1%, as the growth in the Asia-Pacific region was offset by declines in Latin America and the Dogodin brand in Turkey. Please let me know your thoughts on the news, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you find it necessary, 
Feel free to share this video on your social media platforms.